What's up everybody? Polius here with Jason. Let's play some more Sentinels of the Multiverse, the video game. Last time we pulled the executive monkey off of our back and beat the crap out of him. Yep, we um, figured out a good way for beating uh, the chairman and demonstrated that even level 4 villains, if you build around them, are completely doable. Now we're going to see if that's true for some of the more unique villains. Because right now we have misinformation. The demure office worker. First thing you'll notice, she has no hit points. That's because we're playing a very different game here. At the start of the game, misinformation enters play. Demure office worker side up. Cards are revealed from the top of the villain deck until one diversion card is revealed and put into play. Other revealed cards are shuffled and returned to the villain deck, which is then shuffled. I can read. At the start of the villain turn, if there are H-1 or more clue cards in play, misinformation flips. At the end of the villain turn, X ongo hero ongoing or equipment cards are destroyed, where X is the number of diversions in play. Comments, Jason. Misinformation's gimmick is that she's a saboteur that we have to discover. The path to discovering her is very reliant on her own deck. I think she is probably the least fun villain to play, and it's basically just not doable consistently without some deck manipulation. Right. Story-wise, it's the whole cosmic events thing going on, and she was another universe's uh, secretary for the Freedom Five who died, and she now absolutely hates the Freedom Five. Well, we're going to have to cure that hate with the loving embrace of brutal violence. We've got her uh, nemesis here, Parse, and... Um, because none of neither of us like playing against her, we are absolutely dark visionarying Ian Ian up this place, this house. Yep. Um, and then here's the thing: is she does flip and has a bunch of hit points when she flips. So we can't just entirely rely on um, deck manipulation. We need some sort of damage, and preferably damage not reliant on ongoings yep. or equipment. So how about um... we haven't seen Ra in a very long time we haven't What's but he also relies on ongoings and equipments but you know yeah, what but he doesn't rely on them heavily yeah we'll go Ra anything else nope alright and we want a small team she'll flip sooner yeah let's go Megapolis it's been a while since we've been here even yep. though I hate like 15% of the kind of 50% of the cards in there Yep. So I was going to well, say 15 of the cards, but there's like 12 cards in the deck, so... Uh, <laughs> uh, numbers. I is never... I never assumed to be a math person. You want to read the lines here? I'd rather not. Why not? You're you're a thespian, are you not? No, I'm a computer science dork. Oh god, that's like the exact opposite thing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry to all the thespians, I mean. You, why are you looking at me that way? I'm just an innocent assistant. You are an innocent assistant in the same way that I am a simple programmer. Misinformation. Get it? You get her name, Jason? You get it? Elsai. Oh, okay, diplomatic envoy. That looks like progeny. Is that progeny? Could be. Some funny I mean, if it, if it is progeny, then they re really can't fault misinformation for uh, getting, getting this diplomacy <laughs> wrong. <laughs> At the end of the villain turn, this card deals the hero target uh, one hero target with the highest HP, two melee, and two energy damage. Be right back. All right, so it's just me then. Oh, and Amina, Amina Twain, that is her name, Aminia, something like that. Eyes are hard to find. Oh, great. Explosion in the lab. At the end of the villain turn, each player with three or more cards in play must destroy one of their cards. At the end of the villain turn, one player may discard their entire hand to destroy this card. What a nuisance. And it's not even an ongoing for us to destroy. But we're just going to take a bunch of damage. <coughs> Alright. I don't really have any clues or anything to go with right now. Alright. Uh, I, I got nothing right now. I could have... Uh, so I could have between the lines. Let's me uh, raw use a power, but I think my better bet would be to recompile between the lines and reveal the flaws to get more cards. Um, 
Twisted Ether is nice, but it's going to go away. So I think we're actually going to have uh, Visionary discard her hand. And then Ra, I mean, he's just going to smack things with the power of fire and vengeance and stuff. Well, vengeance is pretty handy. You know, I, I remember reading a guide saying that Ra did three things. He did damage, he does fire, and he does fire damage. Three very useful things. Yep. None of those ongoings are going to last. Anyway, so let's just shoot this envoy. In America, diplomacy hit you. Alright. So let's go ahead and hit precognition on the, on the villain deck. Alright, here's a clue. Each player may destroy all of their own, may destroy any of their equipment cards. Then each target deals itself three minus X lightning damage, where X is the number of equipment cards destroyed this turn. Splendid. We're gonna take a bunch of damage. Yep. Um, I could read her deck again. Let's take a look at the the environment deck. I mean, let's get impending casualty. Yeah, I like impending casualties more than I like traffic. As you remember, traffic pileup means that we cannot draw cards until we destroy the card. Oh, I'm, you, you wouldn't even need to explain card effects for that sentiment to be shared by all parties present. Especially anyone who lives in a metropolitan area. Alright, we'll save this. Oh no, Rod did take damage. But it's going to get destroyed anyway, so let's just hit with Fire Blast. Go Charizard, use Fire Blast! Flame spike is good. Oh no, an impending casualty. And we should have Visionary discard a card because she's going to be discarding her hand anyway. Goodbye, Psychic Maelstrom. We hardly liked ye. Uh, Visionary. Oh, that's blended. And we're about to take a bunch of damage. Um, I guess Ra should take it because he can, uh, Heal. Yep. Oh, that's at the start. Okay. So I could play that. It wouldn't let her flip yet. I don't want to put any ongoings in the field until we get rid of all that. Yep. Um, well, we could probably kill the envoy right away. How? Oh, oh, just uh, with our basic powers, yeah. Yeah, we got we got damage, and when misinformation destroys things, when? Um, at the start. Wait, yeah. Yeah, we can totally kill that if we put our minds to it, and maybe play an imbued fire on Ra's turn. Yeah, uh, which in, which means I'm not going to play extrasensory awareness. Um. Updated intel or buffer overflow. Those are both going to get destroyed before they're useful. Which means I'm not going to play anything. Well, I might as well play Recompile. Yep. Get rid of Reveal the Flaws. And Buffer Overflow. And maybe an extra sensory awareness. Uh, it's useful. I'll, I'll save it for if it gets destroyed. Fair enough. Alright, those are some good cards. Actually, let me just do this. Alright, parse. Shoot the thing with the thing. Targeting arrow. All very good cards. I like Parse a lot. Visionary has no cards in her hand. Skipping play phase. Misinformation. Oh, come on. Oh, that's a bu that's That's a bummer. Fun. Well, we'll deal with it. Just play Flame Spike, actually. It seems like kind of a waste. Yeah, but would you rather lose all of Imbued Fire's ability? Fair enough. You could do staff. I have an idea. We're gonna save imbued fire and flesh of the sun god for when she flips, and then we can make ourselves immune to our own uh, our own damage. Oh yeah, because she does make us hit ourselves a bunch. Right. <coughs> it takes Ra's damage out of the turn, but oh come on. Two targets with the highest HP take five melee damage each. All right, so we're just going to take some, some electrical damage. Please play a clue card. 
Yay! 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 So she's gonna flip. That's great. Yep. Um, and since she's flipping, she's gonna be not destroying things. Mm hmm. So we can, like, start getting one shots out. Or ongoings. Yeah. Uh, who do we want to have use it? How do we want to do this? I guess I should start manipulating her deck further. No. Let's... Let's see. Targeting arrow is one irreductible damage and increased damage to that target. Let's hold off on that. Extra sensory awareness? Top three cards of the villain deck. Discard one of them. Yeah. And we're going to take a bunch of damage from the monorail. <coughs> yep. Ah, oh, the kitty. Our... This gets destroyed. Uh, this goes on top of the deck. And do I want to shuffle the villain deck? No. I, I organized it for a reason. Alright, I'm going to play that next. Alright, I really don't need to telekinetic cocoon. So we're going to just have her manipulate the environment deck. Close quarters combat, or cramped quarters combat. Um, yes. Play that. Cerebral hemorrhage. Nice. So we're going to have Bra play Flesh of the Sun God first. Trust me on this. Wrathful gaze. Discard fodder, you mean? So Flesh of the Sun God, if you remember, makes a Raw's immune to fire damage, and he gains the power of hero cards immune to fire damage until the start of your turn. Anyway, so just take the damage, guys. You have no choice. Cramp quarters combat. Now all damage is melee. So if I play the fire damage thing next, that... Oh, so she flips. The, the order matters. Anyway. So she's now the revealed saboteur. At the start of the villain turn, a clue card is destroyed. If this occurs, each hero target deals itself two sonic damage. First time a hero target deals damage to misinformation, she deals that target one psychic damage each. At the end of the villain turn, she deals one hero target with the lowest HP two psychic damage. Anyway, let's get rid of the thing that puts diversions into play. Fair enough. And then let's all happily take that damage. Oh no, kitty. Ugh. Eesh. That was a lot of damage. Remember when we had hit points? Nope. That memory is gone. Alright, so I could get rid of the monorail, and I think we should. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Alright, so what gets discarded? Probably this. Well, I don't like any of these options. So I think we're going to discard this, and it's not going to matter because I'm going to shuffle her deck. No? Actually, we could afford to eat a bunch of suspicious malfunctions if need be if we're going to have Ra go on the defensive. Right. That's exactly what I was thinking. Alright, I don't want to hit anything yet, so we're going to skip. Megapolis. Uh, combat. Uh, yeah. Alright. Imbued fire. Make us immune. <laughs> oh no! Uh, choose the final damage type. Okay. Yay! Strategy! Alright, we need to deal with that cat. So we need to deal with a lot of this stuff. Yes, we do. Um, 
I don't think we're winning this one either. Yeah. We had a uh, previous video have technical difficulties, but we were losing anyway, so... Whenever a non-hero target enters play, increase damage. That's not very useful. Um, don't I have targeting arrow? I do. I'm just gonna. Wait, she deals damage. I thought. Yeah, she deals damage. She oh. punches. Yeah. Shoot. Well, might as well hit her again. Might be able to burst her down. Probably not. At this point, it would be kind of a feat. Actually. Boom. So at least we're not taking self damage. Misplaced memo. But again, we're not going to be taking self damage, so whatever. She's got the lowest hit point, so she's going to absorb it. All right. Just have to figure out how we can. Oh, I just need to twist the ether. That would help. Let's just manipulate the deck. Um, yeah, this is fine. Yep. Let's let's get rid of the old lady. And if that goes on top. No. Segmentation fault. Um, I don't think that's. I don't want to destroy that, so we just skip, skip. There it is. All right. Our odds of winning are are, are better. Let's get a flame barrier out. Yeah. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, shoot. Actually. Start a turn. We can kill the kitty. Or at least really hurt it. No, it is not considered to have lowest HP. Thank you. All right. Um, visionary. Visionary's got a handful of crop. Yeah. Specifically, mass levitation. Misplacement mode is gone, and we deal ourselves no damage. We actually might have this. Um, from Ra's deck. Okay. Let's see what we get. Uh, I can go on the bottom. Because yeah, he has so okay. much draw power for it. Yeah. You have the lowest hit points. Alright. Segmentation fault. Discard a card if you do destroy an ongoing or environment card. Play snap decision, and we're going to manipulate the deck again. See, the, the problem is three melee damage. Yep. Actually, so. We're going to play segmentation fault, and we're going to use it. That's what I think it is. I'll save that. We're going to get rid of this. We're going to get rid of the misplaced memo. Oh, that's a good one, Gage. Uh, yes, I want to destroy it. 
because Twist the Ether. Yes. Visionary for the clutch. And we'll manipulate her deck. Um, it's the devil we know or the devil we don't. I say we go for the devil we know because the visionary doesn't really need to play cards anymore. Yeah. Yeah, good point. All right, so we're going to make everyone immune to fire damage again. Yeah, also, Ra is about to have to, like, destroy cards, so we should make sure he has a card we're willing to destroy. Yeah, Staff of Ra. Oh, right. Um... What we're going to do is we're going to actually fire blast the plummeting monorail, and it's going to hit misinformation, then it's going to hit misinformation and the cat and kill the cat. At that point, why don't we just fire blast misinformation? A good point. No, because then it'll, the monorail will hit itself and misinformation, and the cat will stay, and it'll break a lot. It'll hurt us really badly. Oh, right. So I would rather fire blast the, the monorail. I'm not going to lie. I'm not used in the least to environment cards being able to hurt themselves at all. I know. It is strange. Usually they say the non-environment effect. All right. Which has the second highest HP? Why, the cat does, of course. What a silly question. Oh my god, no. Oh, that is a problem. No, it, um, yes, yes, it, it actually is. Um... Let's check Parse's hand. If there's anything that's going to save us, it's in hers. Uh, do we have a data mining or a way to draw a bunch of cards? We have neither. Well, we're a little bit dead. I don't think we're dead. We're probably dead. Um, Let's mech around with... Well, we need to mess with misinformation's deck, because... Yeah. What's on the bottom? Oh, no, that stays on the bottom. Which we knew, because we had just done that. Oh, yep, we, right. we goofed that. <laughs> Um, Parse can just actually afford choose. to destroy a card. It's it's not a choice. We have to do both. Uh, right. Uh, this is only sort of useful. <coughs> uh, flame barrier is not super useful either. Yeah, not really. We need to take the monorail out. We do, so let's kill the monorail. Oh, actually, shoot. No, we don't. Play a card. Trust me on this. Oh, yeah, that would have been nice. Alright, so we could mine Spike. Or I could Rest the Mind. Does Rest the Mind make Dark Visionary hit herself? For fire damage. Which she won't be immune to because we can't use powers. Good call. We're gonna mine Spike. So I would the monorail. Cerebral Hemorrhage. Would be do, oh, I do have Cerebral Hemorrhage. How did I not even see that? And destroy that. Once again, the day is saved. Yeah. I mean, raw plus twist the ether is just a great combination on its own. Yep. I mean, hey, might as well, right? 
Uh, you know, yeah, I guess we can afford to destroy the staff of Ra, so... Some stuff there. Uh, yes. Absolutely. Critical multiplier. Um... Mind Spike and Wrathful Gaze. Honestly, not the worst thing in the world. Uh, Give it to. Yeah. Oh, someone's dead. Infernal. Yeah, don't matter. Reduced by one. Oh, hey, I can't believe we live. I can't rest the mind. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's beautiful. Boom. Kerblams. So, Segmentation Vault just destroyed the, uh, the hostage situation. Yep. We still have the diplomatic envoy to deal with. Yeah, and he he is gonna kill Parse on his next turn. Right. It's missing resources due. Uh, oh. I, I wasn't reading it, sorry. Um So Flame Spike. Yeah. We don't want to hit her yet. Yeah, we, no, it, it's fine. It's yeah, actually fine. Yeah, because always immune to fire damage. Right. So he can use two powers now. We want to flesh the sun god. Yep. And then we want to fire damage. Yep. Please back up. Yay! Oh, uh, that's, that's that's frustrating. Um, oh, let's just reveal it for Par. She's dead anyway. Oh, each player. Yeah. So we're probably losing a bunch of one shots. Well, let's do visionary. And actually, if we're gonna do something, we should do it to Ra on the off chance we get a staff of Ra because no one has any equipment yeah, except for Ra. And that's exactly what happened. Oh, but oh, they're wait. limited. Eh, we already have all of our limited stuff in play for more, more or less. Yeah. Alright, so Parse is out. So what can she do? One player may draw a card, one player may shuffle their trash in their deck, reveal a top card of the villain. Oh, the draw a card. We want Raw to draw a card. Yeah, because our best bet, <coughs> hope against hope, he draws some damage. Actually, if we get Visionary to draw a card, she might get uh, Rest the Mind or Cocoon. Mm. Brain Burn. Not, not actually that bad. It's not what we wanted at all, but... Yeah, she's still dead next turn. <laughs> yeah. Rooftop combat or police backup would be on the very top. Yeah. And let's manipulate her deck. Isolated hero. If Visionary dies, Ra's gonna die right after. So. Yeah, but Visionary dies last. No, she dies on the next turn. That's, I mean, Ra just trust me on this. Alright. Let's see. Uh, let's see, that would give us two extra damage. No. We gotta do it on Living Conflagration if we want a chance. You sure? Yeah, we conflagrate for some damage. We 
block this. We block her hit. That's only two damage. We can buff our damage right now. Yeah, and we would just sort of croak right after. No, because we... he deals himself four psychic damage. If he takes no damage, the card is destroyed. He's dealing fire damage. He takes no damage. That would be... If we... Hold, hold on one second. That would be four... Um, five... Six damage. Um, what's her what's her flip effect? One player may draw a card. So, if he gets, if we can draw a card that, no, we win. I think we're good. Don't hit skip. No, I wasn't planning on hitting skip. I think we're good. If I, uh... Actually, you're... you're... No, we, we want to do it like this. In well, fact... If you're only doing two damage one way or the other, why don't we play Living Conflagration? Because this is plus it? two damage. Oh, I see. Right. Well... Yeah, actually, you're right. In fact, Living Conflagration... Hit her for four. Now Raw just has to survive. Yep. Oh. Why did why did he immediately die? I have no idea what just happened there. Why did he take psychic damage? I think he punched himself somehow. He couldn't punch himself for fire. We're gonna have to watch this over again, because he couldn't punch himself for psychic damage. He had uh Flesh of the Sun got out. Yeah, that's weird. What the hell? Here's what should have happened. I gotta go to her. Okay, yeah. Uh, um, will you talk? He, here's I'll... what should have happened. He should have. Um, oh no, because isolated hero means that his own cards won't affect him either. I misread that. Is that how that works? We're gonna check real quick. Either that or. Uh... He couldn't be saved by. Uh, no, because it was psychic damage caused by something. So yeah, we're going to take a Psychic damage caused by uh, misinformation flipping. Well, she wouldn't have flipped again. Or, no, her start of turn, her end of turn is hitting the lowest health for psychic. But. And for some but no, reason, that, that, no, 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 because that couldn't have happened because visionary. Was still targeting, was still alive, so her, her uh, twist the ether still was effective. No, I think I think it's an uh, isolated hero. Give me a second. Hero and that hero's cards cannot affect or be affected by any hero uh, from another deck. I don't know that. Yeah, that's weird. I don't cause... know that. I think we were cheated by a glitch. Yeah, that sh that should not have gone. Well, you know what that means, Jason. We just have to fight her again. <sighs> No. See y'all next time.